bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. And welcome back, everybody. Well, I'm sure you've heard it time and time again. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, a local church is demonstrating that, and he added it's true that on the sanitary division, as far as they stepped up, to launch a cleanup effort in Caravel Beach community. Who would Kimberly Mullings to cover this one? Believing that the church was mandated to affect change in the community, pastor of Life Community Church, Cedric Beckles, is spearheading a new outreach project which aims to address a problem in Caraville Beach. They are donating over 30 bins for garbage collections. As we pass the streets, we often see garbage in places where it should not be, and we thought this would, would be a very practical way that the church can show, in addition to spiritual influences, we are doing something to affect daily change in the community. MB for Central Grand Bahama, Nico Grant, commends Pastor Beckles and the outreach team of Life Community Church on their positive initiative. I think it's an excellent one. I look forward to partnering with them to expand this program. It's a wonderful program, and I sincerely hope that others will see the need to repeat it. Deputy Director of Urban Renewal Michelle Rackley says the organization pledges their full support and are pleased to assist the church. Today I'm happy to see that it is a reality and this is what we need. You know, um, Pastor Beckles could have found something else to do, but um, what better than to extend himself to the community of Carvel Beach and to help clean it up. And, you know, these are the people that he passed coming to church and seeing the garbage every day and just wanting to reach out and extend and to touch persons by cleaning the area. It would certainly make a difference and we will be here to help in whichever way we can. First School of Arbs of Sanitation Services is pleased to have the church on board assisting with the cleanup efforts in the city of Freeport. We are very grateful that Pastor Beckles and his church took the initiative to do something to move further to the next step to assist in keeping the area clean. So we are truly, um, truly pleased with that venture and we prayed and we will partner with them in having it picked up removed and keep in the environment and the area cleaned around wherever they are placed. City Manager at the Grand Bahama Port Authority, Troy McIntosh, and the Keep Grand Bahama Clean Committee are endorsing this project as well. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. Well, Grand Bahamas get a taste of the culture of Cat Island. A special event is planned for this Friday in the West. Megan Shepherd has this one for you. Cat Islanders on Grand Bahama are looking to bring the down-home culture to the north. Coordinator of the Rake and Scrape All Day Family Fun Fest, Cleophus Webb says, the idea is to give Grand Bahamians a taste of the Cat Island culture. The event, which takes place July 8th, will feature some of the best groups in Rake and Scrape. As you know, Cat Island is considered the cultural capital of the Bahamas. We have um, been able to retain and maintain the culture as um, no other island was able to do. And that is because of a lot of different reasons. But um, bringing the culture is um, like bringing everything from Cat Island. That's our music, our food, our drinks, and our people. Committee member Shaniqua Smith adding that all of the fun will happen in the West at the Pink Pearl restaurant and that there will be food, fun and games for the entire family. Down home, that old fashioned type of thing. This is what this is. We're going to bring Cat Island right into Grand Bahama. We're going to have the egg and spoon race, sack race. We're going to have three leg race, um, the treasure hunt, bouncing castles, face painting, beach volleyball. Uh, dominoes, card games, backgammon for the entire family. Just come on out. Um, they, we're going to have a lot of bush medicine, a lot of bush medicine, which one of the highlights of Cat Islands. Cat Islands highlight is the 21 gun salute. Webb is encouraging everyone to come out and enjoy the Cat Island experience while also helping out a good cause. Part proceeds to be donated to the West and All Age School as well as the Arthurstown Primary School in Cat Island. We want Cat Islanders and Grand Bahamians to really um, participate in this and make it a success because we, uh, we want to um, try and 
assist the education of um, our students in the West and in the East. Part of the fun will also include a battle of the bands. Megan Shepard, Sedanus, Network News. And all that food gonna be down there, we let Sheena go on vacation. That means I gotta pick up the slack. But in any event, it's time to ask the doctor. Hi, I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Welcome. Christine from Freeport asked, how do I prevent getting gallstones? Hi, Christine, and thanks for your question. Gallstones are formed in the gallbladder, which is a small sac-like organ under the liver and located in the right upper portion of your abdomen. If someone has gallstones, they may experience abdominal pain, especially after a heavy meal, nausea, vomiting, fever, and even jaundice, which is the yellowing of the skin or the whites of your eyes. There's no sure way to prevent gallstones. However, eating a sensible diet is the best way to lower your risk. Avoid eating too much fat, since the majority of gallstones are made of cholesterol. A high fiber, low cholesterol diet is the way to go, as it keeps the cholesterol in a liquid form in the gallbladder and reduces the risk of forming stones. Some studies have shown that the chemicals in olive oil not only reduces cholesterol levels in your blood, but also reduces cholesterol in the gallbladder. So eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, low in cholesterol, and avoiding crash diets may help lower your risk for getting gallstones. If you have questions or concerned about your health, please email askdrbahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. And folks, I do apologize. Sheena Koch says she's having crab soup now, so we're sending you all in trouble. More sports when we come back. <laughs>